Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine with a three-card spread. This is for Virgo. This is your February monthly for 2020. This is for February, your monthly reading for 2020. I have three cards here for you. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Hermit in the reverse. And we have the Eight of Cups in the upright. Okay, let's get started. Let me stabilize my camera. Remember, I'm using my phone. Sometimes when people text me or call me, it kind of pauses the video a little bit. <clears throat> Remember, this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always come back for a, another reading. Or I do personal readings with information down below. Contact me and I will contact you back. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, let's get started. Virgo. This is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn card. I'm seeing here, you, this is either you or the person you're involved with. I'm seeing that you're having some kind of financial um, troubles. You're, you're, you, were, you were doing good financially, but now since it's in the reverse, I'm seeing that there's financial insecurity, financial troubles. Um, maybe this is the person you're involved with. Um, he, this person doesn't want to work too hard for what they want they're dreaming big but they're not working for it or this could be you um this person wants good things in life but isn't able to work for it or isn't willing to work for it uh this person is stubborn materialistic slow to move on things unaware of spending habits so is there someone that's spending your money while you're out away maybe you're living with a partner that doesn't work or maybe they do work but they're spending your money and not theirs or they're not meeting you halfway like 50 50 on the bills or helping you out in any kind of way financially um i'm <coughs> excuse me i'm hearing that um, someone is making unchoice, unwise choices with money, uh, spending money furiously, going through your bank account. I'm hearing that someone is easy to bribe, whether it be you or the other person, and then that leads, leads to spending your money. Maybe somebody is bribing them out of, out of your money that they're spending, and that's depleting your bank account. Okay, or this could be, uh, this has many scenarios. If you're at a job where it's not paying you a whole lot, I'm seeing they're, they're not paying you either your worth or you're not working hard enough for the money that you are being paid. There, this has many scenarios because, of course, this is a general reading. It's for many people. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys, I'm still sick. It's taking me forever to get over this flu. Okay, so let's move on to the next card. Again, I'm seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sorry, my candle burnt out. I need to go get a new candle today. Now, this is uh, the Hermit in the upright position. This is still Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and this person goes off to think about stuff, why this is happening to him, and seems like that's what you are doing or your other person is doing this. You've gone off to think about you know, what's going on with you, why your finances this way, how can you change for the better, but now it's in the reverse, and this is the present card, so in the reverse, it's telling me that you've already made up your mind, you feel like, in the reverse, you feel like um, the, uh, you've been left out in the cold, in other words, you feel like um, you, you've been left behind, and no one's really listening to you, or maybe this is your partner feeling this way, um, you, you feel like you may need to review a few lessons that's already happened to you. Maybe you missed something. So you go back and think about it. That's why the hermit's up on the mountain. He's going back thinking about, you know, going over his life, thinking about what happened. You know, how can he change? Hold on. Tank, get in your bed right now. Lay down. Sorry, my dog is acting up. Um, no one is listening to how he truly feels, so he truly feels alone and in the dark, okay, get in that bed, I mean it, sorry, I don't like him running around at my feet when I'm trying to do these readings, so I make him lay in his bed, um, 
I, I'm hearing that you're not listening to your own advice or paying attention to others that have already been where you've been, that you're not listening to advice. Um, history can repeat itself. Hold on, I'm going to put you on pause for a minute. Okay, I had to put my dog away. Um, these you get, This could lead to foolish actions if you don't learn from the past. Okay, if you don't learn from past mistakes, maybe you've been through this with somebody else before, or, you know, this same situation keeps going on and on, and you're just not doing anything about it, then you're going to re repeat the same cycle over and over and over is what I'm hearing. Um, a lot of you or maybe the person you're with is daydreaming and wishing for something to happen, but you're not doing nothing about it. Okay, that's the same thing as not learning from your past mistakes. So you can't wish for something. If you sit around saying, I wish, I wish, I wish, nothing aspires from that. Okay, all that is is daydreaming. Okay, so in order to manifest something, you have to get up and move and actually do it. Okay, the Herman in reverse uh, means that you got your head in the clouds. You got to get out of that cloud and make a decision on which way you want your direction to go, your life to go. Okay, so let's get out of this one. And now here we are. Okay, so here I'm seeing that you are making a decision. With this, I'm seeing a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so I'm seeing that you stacked all these cups up and this is all that life has to offer and you've turned your back on it and you're walking away okay so you're going up the mountain up the mountain so that means that that's a hard decision but you're going to do it anyway and you're wearing red so you're very passionate about it so you're going up to seek for something higher that's better for you and you're leaving everything that's near and dear to you behind including Friends, maybe you need a whole total lifestyle change is what I'm hearing. I am hearing that if you move towards that way, you might meet a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's going to help you get there. You know, whether this be a relationship, friendship, jo job, or whatever, I'm feeling that you're going to meet a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's going to help you get where you need to be. It could be a new relationship or someone offering you a job, a new friendship, or something like that. But you're going to get there as long as you keep moving forward and up. Okay, that's what this card represents. Okay, I call this card leaving an attachment, okay, so because you're leaving everything that's near and dear to you. You might be moving into another home or another uh, apartment or house and getting away from the person that was bringing you down. Or if you were living by yourself, you might be... Um, you might be just moving into a better place. Maybe the one you were living in is, is not so great. Um, yeah, so you and you're leaving all your worries behind. You're seeking for something different. You want something different, something higher than where you were. Okay, so and you want to see what's on the other side of that mountain. So there you go. You're off and you're doing great. I see I see prosperity on the other side of that mountain, but you got to get there. And it's not going to be easy because climbing, see, he's got to climb all these rocks and over the hill and stuff. So that doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but it does mean that you will get there and you will prosper when you get to the other side. So it's up to you. You need to make a decision this month um, of what you want to do. I would wait till after Mercury retrograde because Mercury retrograde is going to retrograde on the 17th. So we are already in the shadow phase. And in the shadow phase, you're going to start noticing things change. Um, you, you are going to start noticing computer crashes, more plane crashes, um, automobile crashes, and things like that. That's what happens when Mercury retrograde comes. Uh, mechanical things fail. Okay, so we're in the shadow phase now, so you will notice more plane crashes, train crashes, bus crashes, automobile crashes, or breakdowns. Your computers and cell phones will start slowing down, having glitches, and you'll be like, what's wrong with this phone? I just bought this phone. It's, you know, messing up. Also, um, there will be... Uh, don't sign major contracts, you know. So if you are moving, moving, um, we're in the shadow phase, but do it before the 17th. I would actually do it right now or wait till March 5th, okay? Then after that, you still have two weeks of shadow phase. So it's up to you how you want to handle that. Again, if you have, if you're searching for another job, um, do not quit your job and, and start a new one during Mercury Retrograde because, again, it will not work out.
Anything that you start during Mercury retrograde will not work out. It seems to fail because Mercury is the redo planet. So anything you do during that phase, you have to redo. Okay. So I do have a video on Mercury retrograde. You just have to search it down below because I did it like last month. <coughs> Excuse me. So go ahead and find that and really look at it, especially for you Virgos, because you, you're about to make a change and you need to watch that video. All right. Whew, it's hot in here. I'm going to have to turn on my air. All right, y'all. This is your reading for February, Virgos. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. You can come back for another reading or co contact me with the information down below and I'll get back at you for a personal reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and thank you for all the subscribers so far. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.